Hello everyone. Uh, today we will be continuing with the nine point circle problem. It's a very beautiful problem. We have discussed it in the past two videos. And in this particular video, we will finish it off. So the setup of the problem is like this. You have a triangle ABC and you have the three midpoints of the triangle. Let's call them D, E and F. So we can, let's, let me zoom in a little bit. D, E and F. And you also have the ortho center. So what is the ortho center? You join the perpendiculars or the altitudes of the triangle and whatever point they meet at let's call that point H then this point H right here this point H is the ortho center of the triangle okay so the problem is that you mark the midpoint of the ortho center suppose the midpoint is somewhere here ortho center with one of the vertices so let's say midpoint of BH let me write that midpoint of BH let's call this point X so we want to show this is our goal our goal is to show that D X F E D X F E lie on the same circle there is a fancy word for this it's known as concyclic okay so how do we show that a single circle will pass through all of these four points i mean we can roughly draw the circle uh, in, in 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 the picture how do we show that they are uh, they all lie in the same circle so the angle chasing method will work here we join the four points like this so maybe we can join xf fe ed and df and then we try to show that the sum of the opposite angles angles so goal sum of opposite angles is equal to 180 degree because we know this that if in a quadrilateral such a thing happens if in a quadrilateral sum of opposite angles is 180 degree then that quadrilateral is cyclic so this means the quadrilateral is cyclic or the four points lie on the same circle so this is this is the tool that we will use so the first step the first step is to understand this particular angle maybe i can use a different color let's use the color yellow here so let's use this let's look at this particular angle which is right here this one f e d so maybe i can zoom in a little bit so this is the angle angle f e d so what is angle f e d if you look at this picture very carefully angle f e d is exactly equal to this yellow angle right here angle b this is the angle angle b why because b f e d is a cycle is a parallelogram so angle f e d is equal to angle b because b f e d there is this quadrilateral right here bfed is a parallelogram why is it a parallelogram well i'm using the midpoint theorem here midpoint theorem so what do i get by that well i know that f is the midpoint of ab e is the midpoint of ac so if you join the two midpoints of the triangle of the two sides of the triangle 
it will be equal to half of the third side and parallel to it. So this is something, it's a very important theorem, so you should know about this. Join, maybe I can zoom in a little bit again. So let's put this aside a little bit. Join the midpoints of a triangle and these are the midpoints uh, of the sides of a triangle rather the sides of a triangle triangle and you get Fe parallel to BC and Fe is half of BC this is the content of the midpoint theorem which we are using directly for the purpose of this problem okay so since it's a parallelogram opposite sides will be equal and parallel uh, uh, opposite sides of the quadrilateral will be equal so these two angles right here angle b angle fed are equal so what we will show and this is the trick we will show that this is this angle right here in red this is this angle is 180 minus B because then the opposite angles will add up to 180 degree because this is B this is 180 minus B they will add up to 180 degree and this will be a circle okay now 180 minus B we want to show that this angle is 180 minus B 180 minus B is same as a plus C that is this angle right here angle A right here and add to that angle C why this is again a common very common thing that we use often in geometry that three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees so if you want to show something is 180 minus B show that that angle is just the sum of the other two angles of the triangle so how do you show that this red a red angle is a plus C how do you show that well that's kind of the point of this whole exercise so you have to use the midpoint theorem very clear cleverly what you do is you notice that in the triangle a h b in the triangle a h b so maybe i can sort of darken it so this is the triangle a h b in this particular triangle f is the midpoint of ab f is mid of ab and x is mid of a a a bh which means that these two angles these two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel and what that means effectively is that this angle right here this angle right here is equal to this angle here okay so you have to somehow use the fact that these two sides are parallel and you have to also use the fact that this is a this is an altitude and that would finally give you the result so we will finish this off in the next video if you know how to show that this red angle is a plus c you can put that in the comment in the description and i will check whether that's right or not okay so keep on doing great mathematics i'll see you in the next one